you all have done an outstanding job of directing our city to very qualified department heads and, and dedicated employees. I will direct my remarks primarily to my councilman, Kirk Dawson, but if what I say to him is applicable to any of you, I suggest that you do some self-examination. On Friday, June 21st, I made you aware, Councilman Dawson, a groundswell of, of people in our community who are disturbed and concerned by the overreach of certain school board members. I also make you aware the group is, is growing and becoming organized. From that organized group, we put forward the names of two respective candidates who have agreed to serve as, as uh, on the school board if appointed for the vacancy and ask that the uh, council appoint one of those two individuals whose name I provided you. I said, I'm sure you will receive other names, but we backed these two, and you agreed. I just, uh, you also said, I've just got a list of 21 names from the superintendent's office, to which I replied, if those came from Dr. Milton's office, I'm sure they are well qualified. But again, we ask that you approve Two, one of these two that, uh, whose names I just provided you. You agreed and said, I'll push for those two. As it turned out, the list that you referred to had been provided more than a year ago. None of those names seemed to have ever been considered. And Mr. Vickers was not among those. I want to make it clear, I do not oppose Mr. Vickers. And I hope it will be a, a very good appointment. Time will tell. On Saturday, June the 22nd, you met at City Hall with another councilman. Let me please say, I don't screw this as an improper meeting. It's often done when the mayor needs to make council members aware of some important issues or vice versa, as long as you don't violate the open opinion law, and I'm sure you did not. You met with them, another council member, the mayor, Ross Cotter, and a member of the Citizens Committee. Saturday, Mr. Vickers was called, advising he was selected as the appointee to the board. I am perplexed as to why, who or why Mr. Cotter, particularly, or a member of the Citizens Committee would be asked to be with you, selecting the person to be appointed. Whoever puts out that rumor is wrong. Al and I met with the mayor to discuss the school board, someone that was discussed to want to be on the school board. He then called Mr. Potter Jr. to come down and discuss it with us and see if everything would be in line. Thank you, Dr. I don't think that you took seriously the two names. Yes, sir, I did. I don't think you did. Perfect. But I don't appreciate being uh, uh, this, uh, made dishonest. That was, that was not intended, I promise. Well, you read I did. Yeah. That's what I was talking about. Thank you. First of all, I think the composition of the uh, Citizens Committee was slanted, uh, and I did not realize at the time, but uh, I found out that some of those members were adversaries, in my opinion, to the school system. I think they were trying to determine how little they could help us. How, how much can we uh, keep from y'all rather than how much can we help y'all? For example, the $30 million bond issue. When we, when the school system repays $550,000 a year for 14 years, the school system is going to get $22.3 million. That's a fact. The second uh, thing that I would take exception with is uh, the, uh, when, the, when we were negotiating the, uh, the amount of money uh, and I remember the mayor specifically stating this. He slapped his hand on the table and said, I want my five million. And I know that he didn't mean that he, he wanted that for himself personally, but he was going to, meant that for the city of Enterprise. I mean, and as I stated the other night, and I'll read it again. And if you look at the numbers over the amortization period, of the city of enterprise bond issue the city will profit a minimum of 25 million dollars through the one half cent sales tax and 3.5 mil ad valorem tax should the city receive 550 thousand dollars 
from the Board of Education for 14 years, the city will profit in excess of $32 million. We can uh, argue about the word profit. I see that as a city <coughs> profiting off the destruction of two schools. Please understand, the city took a large risk to help. We did not know what was going to happen then. And we sure don't know what's going to happen between now and 2016, especially with sequestration, bright, and soft economy that we're in. Sales tax collections, Avalon taxes could have as easily gone down and still could, but I hope not. I hope they don't. And we will do everything we can do as an administration to keep this from happening. But remember, this was in 2008, and times were very uncertain. It was a big risk, but a risk the city thought was worth taking to help our schools. I'm a strong believer in helping when we can. In 2016, if the school system is in need, we should take a look at what relief should be given if the city is in need and the school is in good shape, then we'd expect the same, the same. And I think you would. I think the school would. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not yours and it's not mine. It's ours. Forgive me. We're the city of enterprise. We don't harm each other. And I'm certainly not going to let others mislead our citizens about the truth. That the past history indicates anything, we'll move forward together.